So when it comes to protein distribution and meal frequency, it's important to remember that you don't really have a storage form for dietary protein. Dietary protein is either gonna be used for protein synthesis in various tissues, and anything left over is gonna be oxidized for energy. So when I say oxidized, the nitrogen is gonna be removed off the amino acids, and the carbon skeletons are gonna be used to create energy, whether it be through the Krebs cycle or gluconeogenesis. Some methodology, it's either gonna be used for protein synthesis or burned for energy. So eating one meal of say 150 or 200 grams of protein and getting all your protein in one meal, your rate of muscle protein synthesis caps out at probably about 30 to 50 grams of protein in a meal, depending on the quality of the protein and how much lean mass you have. So if you're eating 50 grams of protein versus 200 grams of protein at a meal, you're probably not getting any more muscle protein synthesis. You're better off taking that 200 grams and distributing it over three to four meals. And there is some strong strong animal data and some human data showing that if you distribute your protein intake more evenly across at least say three meals versus one, that you have a little bit better anabolic response. Now, I wanna be clear, it's not a huge difference. We might be talking about the last like five to 10%. The most important thing is still your total overall daily protein intake. But once you have that in a good spot, if you distribute that over say three to four meals, it's probably superior to having it in one or two meals.